so I know that it's separable. And if I get my y's over on the left-hand side here, I'd end up with one over cosine of two y dy is equal to sine of three x dx. And here we're gonna have to remember back to our trig integral rules. One over cosine, that's the same thing as secant. So I'm looking at secant of two y dy. And over here I'd be looking at the integral of sine of three x dx. I'm gonna do this side first, and I'm looking for the function whose derivative is sine. Well, that's gonna be negative cosine. So I'll have negative cosine. Calculus cannot change the angle inside, but we do need to correct for what would happen with chain rule and divide by three. On this side, the integral of secant is one that I have memorized, and especially if this is open book, um, then it's totally reasonable for you to go straight to the integral of secant. Uh, there is an integration table in our textbook, so this is definitely one that I would just go straight to the answer and say that the integral of secant is natural log absolute value secant of my angle plus tangent of my angle. And then again, I'm going to have to remember to divide by 2 to account for the chain rule that would happen if I took this derivative. And I've got to put a plus c somewhere. I'll go ahead and put it over here. This is not one that you're going to want to try to rearrange to make it say y equals or even x equals. We would just leave it right here.